The member for Fadden has the call. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. I refer the Prime Minister to report that the draft defence white paper states, and I'll quote, a strong national economy is fundamental to a strong defence force. An economic surplus is Australia's best defence against the uncertain global outlook. Prime Minister, why, according to your own draft defence white paper, have you now placed Australia's national security at risk by breaking your promise to deliver a surplus in 12-13? Order. The Prime Minister has the call. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Speaker. And to the member's question, first, I'm not going to speculate about an early, incomplete departmental working document that has neither been presented to government nor circulated to other relevant agencies, but has apparently been leaked to the media. It goes without saying that the defence white paper will be released, as the government has announced, and the member, when it is released, may want to study that white paper. On the question of the defence budget, can I be very clear with the House and with the member who has asked the question? Uh, we were the first government to budget over $100 billion for defence, and again this year we have budgeted $103 billion across the forward estimates. That is part of making the right decisions for national security. And a little bit earlier this year I had the opportunity to outline the first ever national security strategy for the nation. And I would refer the member to that. I would also refer the member to the fact that the opposition uh, in the area of defence has made a series of completely inconsistent statements about whether or not the opposition would add to defence spending or would not add to defence spending. Uh, we have had different statements from different spokespeople on different days. The Leader of the Opposition has said different things at different times. Well, that kind of incompetence cannot be allowed to prevail. The opposition now has the opportunity to be crystal clear about its statements on defence and crystal clear about budgeting about defence and matching savings should they determine uh, to make extra expenditure. And I would uh, indicate, for example, they have uh, made commitments uh, about indexation of military superannuation that have not been properly accounted for. The Prime Minister will resume her seat. The Manager of Opposition Business on a point of order. Madam Speaker, the Prime Minister was asked about her uh, putting things. national security at risk because of her failure to deliver the a General. in 2012-13. She's now spending again her whole answer talking yeah. about the opposition. Manager, she wasn't the manager asked of about opposition the business policies. will resume his seat. The Prime Minister has the call and will return to the question before the chair. Order! The Prime Minister has the call. Thank you very much. Uh, the government uh, will outline the defence white paper. The government's budget for defence is as I've outlined it. If the opposition wants to be taken seriously on this question, it needs to be crystal clear about its policy statements, crystal clear about costings and crystal clear about matching statement, sta savings, uh, given the uh, completely contradictory statements to date. No one at this point can take the opposition seriously on defence. Is the, the member for Fadden seeking to table a document? I am, Madam Speaker, I seek leave to table page 82 of the draft defence white paper that doesn't have the early working draft. Fadden is completely complete. His is well the, the member for Fadden will resume his seat. 